Hello guys, this is Chirutik once again and you are watching Spring Tutorial Series. This is the part 2 of the series and in this part we are going to learn about uh, how to set up your Spring framework in Eclipse IDE. So I am going to use Eclipse for developing Spring framework project. So uh, as you can see that it is a fresh uh, project, uh, fresh project explorer, no, no project is there so I'm gonna start uh, from fresh click file and new and go to new Java project that is this next and give a name to spring demo and <coughs> now you can see that uh, okay now give a name to suppose actually spring demo is there I guess so <coughs> give a name to spring first now I'm going to use Java AC 1.6 and there are uh, there are lots of uh, e execution environment there make sure you choose Java AC 1.6 and click next uh, there is a source folder and that is created and click finish so do you want the prospective now no not necessary okay now uh, as you can see that jd system library is already included by default so in order to uh, work on the spring framework you need to add the jars of spring framework you can download it uh, from the site this uh, springsource.org download slash community and you can download this Spring Framework 3.2.0 release and it's 47 MB so after downloading that uh, it's a zip file and unread it or unzip it and after that you will be getting uh, a folder I'm showing you so uh, in order to do that you have to go to property of your project folder and click library and uh, you have to add a library here and make sure this is a user library because we are going to create it and there is a user library now click new and i'm going to give name as a string now click ok now click on external there now what i'm trying to say you that uh, i have downloaded that uh, zip and after unzipping it you're gonna get this folder and in this folder you have you have to go to the libs folder there are lots of jacks present and you have to add all of them in your user library so hit open and as you can see that uh, uh, this is added all these rats are added jacks are added into my library now another uh, thing you have to add that is uh, logon apache uh, we're gonna need this logon directory also and you can download it uh, from here that is common login commons.apache.org you can download the stable version that the binaries and according to your linux or your window you can download it download this for linux and this for windows and after downloading this you're gonna you're gonna need to unzip that and uh, i have already unzipped it and you can see that <coughs> sorry you can see that uh, in this folder particularly after unzipping it you're gonna get this folder and i'm gonna need this file commons login 1.1.1 to for the spring framework make sure you have added now I have added this and my spring framework library is ready to execute now select and hit ok and click finish so my uh, spring library has been added and click ok so spring library has been added over here and we are now ready to code our first program so from the next tutorial onwards we are gonna be create coding before that I have to give another idea to before starting my code so
so make sure you watch my second tutorial and and make sure you just uh, installed all the necessary jazz and downloaded it from the sites and make sure uh, that uh, that's all are properly in manner so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching and have a nice day